I'm going to show you today my homemade manometer which I will later use to balance the throttle bodies of a twin cylinder fuel injected motorcycle. In this case it's a BMW R1100 but it could be any motorcycle uh, with twin throttle bodies or carburetors. The equipment itself is very simple. We have a 6mm diameter clear plastic tube, 10 meters. This arrangement at the top is just to keep the plastic out of the way, um, make it tidy whilst I show you how it works. It's shown mounted to an old CD tower. It could be freestanding or even hung on the garage wall. There's a hole there you could just put a screw through, hang it on your workshop wall. So a few cable, a few cable clips to keep things tidy and a loop at the bottom there and the liquid inside here is a two-stroke motorcycle engine oil uh, because it contains a nice blue dye and is very viscous so in operation if I attempt to replicate a slight imbalance in the throttle bodies or carburetors I'll suck on the left hand tube, this will be connected to the left hand throttle body or carburetor and you'll see the fluid level will rise in the left hand uh, tube indicating that the vacuum is stronger in the left hand side if I do the same with the right as you would expect the fluid in the right hand side will rise now I'll try to suck on them both at the same rate difficult because I've only got one mouth although certain people I'm sure would disagree with that okay here we go as you can see both were rising just about the same rate slightly difficult with only one mouth but um, I'll try that again and you could clearly see the fluid fall back again there when the vacuum was broken and we'll be putting this to work later today on my own vehicle cost of this was five English pounds so around about eight American dollars and took me 20 minutes to make